Most flow switches contain two sets of switch contacts. One can be used to activate a fire panel, and the other can be used to operate a local alarm, such as a 120 VAC bell or horn. The contacts are completely independent of each other and have the same rating, so it does not matter which switch gets used for what purpose. Wiring a flow switch to ring a bell is just like wiring a light switch to turn on a light. The flow switch is the light switch, and the bell is the light. To do this, simply switch the hot wire through the normally open contacts of the flow switch out to the bell. The neutral wire does not connect to the flow switch, but instead goes from the service panel straight to the white wire of the bell. The flow switch is just a mechanical switch. It does not require power to operate, so do not connect both the hot and neutral wires to the flow switch. First, observe all applicable sections of adopted local and national electrical codes and standards and use an appropriate gauge wire for the load and length of wire run. Use an ohm meter or continuity tester to make sure you have the normally open switch contacts. Turn off the breaker that will be used to power the bell. Pull a hot, black, neutral, white, and ground green or bare wire from the circuit into the flow switch housing. Connect the hot wire to the common contact of one of the switches. Pull another set of wires for the bell into the flow switch housing. Connect the black wire for the bell to the normally open terminal of the same switch that the hot wire is connected to. Do not connect either of the white neutral wires to the flow switch. Use a wire nut to connect the white wire that is coming from the service panel to the white wire from the bell. Connect both ground wires to the ground screw on the flow switch. The bell has two white wires and two black wires. The dual wires are common to each other inside the bell. They are for in and out wiring if there are multiple bells on the circuit. If there is only one bell, twist the two black wires together and twist the two white wires together. Continue the ground wire from the flow switch to the ground connection on the back box. Connect the black wire from the flow switch to the black wires on the bell. Connect the white wire from the flow switch to the white wires on the bell. When the flow switch activates, the common and normally open terminals will close after the retard time expires. This will switch the hot wire that is on the common terminal out through the normally open contact of that same switch. If you have further questions about any of our products, please contact our tech support team by calling 866-956-0988 or emailing tech at pottersignal.com.